everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Yes, I am sat on the floor. Um, welcome back to another week in the life vlog. why I needed to do that. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Emmy. I do videos all about life abroad, living in Canada, and travel related things. So if you like content like that, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe if you want to. I feel like I haven't done a week in the life vlog for ages and basically <laughs> this was not planned. Um, Mike is actually away for work this week and I just came back from a walk around town and I had to go to the grocery store and I have no one to talk to and it made me sad. And then I was like, wait, I have my YouTube family. And then I was like, I'm gonna start a week in the life vlog on an evening. You can see the light is not great, but um, yeah, basically I just went for a walk around town. I figured that I want to show you the blossoms while they're still here. The Sakura blossoms have already been and gone, but the plum blossoms are about to bloom, which are the really, really pink ones. And they're so beautiful around the city. And I thought that would be a really nice thing to show you since I showed you the Sakura blossoms when they were blooming before. It's been a beautiful sunny day, like the first lovely sunny day in ages. We can see the Olympic mountains for the first time in ages. It's so lovely. I am just alive in the spring. It is so good. I feel like the last few weeks have just been so great. We've been like hanging out with friends. We've had some friends come over from Toronto and it's just been lovely. I feel so much more myself. I feel like I really struggled through the back end of this winter. I always do. January, February, March are really tough months for me because I suffer from seasonal affective disorder. Um, I get very sad in the winter time because of the weather. So yeah, it's been great. But I did just come back from the grocery store and I want to just show you what I got and how much it cost because I feel like this will make you kind of understand just how expensive everyday items are in Canada. Now I will say that I don't buy the cheapest items, there are obviously cheaper brands and things, um, but these are just like things that I eat um, and drink and yeah, honestly crazy. I also just got a little shipment through, um, which I'm kind of excited about. I actually got it from eBay and I haven't shopped on eBay in so long. Um, I actually recently made two purchases on eBay, one for my upcoming vacation um, and this one, and I thought I would show you because it's kind of fun um, and a little bit different to what I usually get. Okay, I'm gonna have to continue sitting on the floor because the light is fading fast and this is the only place that I can get light. Um, so we're gonna have to rock with it. Rock with it? Roll with it. Okay, so I kept the receipt just so I can tell you how much everything was. And you let me know what you think to this because this was just like a quick pickup of some random things. And yeah, it was expensive, annoyingly expensive. Okay, first thing I got, um, this is sleepy time tea. Again, this is not something that everybody would get, but I really like herbal tea. I can't drink caffeine or like I can't drink a lot of caffeine. I have to have decaf if I have caffeine. And I do like, they do a, like a normal sleepy time version of this, but this is like the extra sleepy time version. This is really good before bed. I find it's really nice. I like something warm to drink before I go to bed. So I thought I would try this. This was, I'm pretty sure this was on sale. And, oh no wait, this one wasn't on sale. I think you had to buy two of the other other sleepy ones to be on sale. I think it was two for eight dollars. So this was six forty nine for a box of twenty tea bags. I know more tea bags. Stash Earl Grey. Yes, I would have usually got Yorkshire. Well, I like Earl Grey. That's my favorite kind of tea. Um, I also buy Yorkshire Gold. Not Yorkshire Gold because you don't get gold decaf. Or do you? No, I think it's just Yorkshire tea decaf. But they didn't have it. This is eighteen tea bags. And this was $6.79, so more expensive. These are like individually wrapped though, and they're very good. And it's the only tea that I can drink other than the decaf other one, so I have to deal with it. Next thing, again, I know that people are gonna tell me that this is like a fancy version and you can definitely get cheaper ones of these, but not like this, and this is my favorite. This is um, Fatso peanut butter. It is salted caramel. It's like healthier peanut butter. It's not just peanuts. It's got like chia seeds in and tapioca fiber made with coconut oil, um, flax seed. Yeah, anyway, it's just like a, I guess, not that normal peanut butter on its own isn't supposedly good for you, but 
I know that peanut butter is not the greatest for you. I usually have almond butter, but I do get this as a treat. Um, this, you're going to be like, why did you even get it at this price? But honestly, it, it's, it's really, really good. Oh my gosh, if you can hear the geese, they're all just, they're all just coming back in. We have a, a taller building across the way from us and they're nesting on top, so we hear them all the time. Okay, this was $10.99. I know you're gonna be like, why would you pay $11 for peanut butter? But honestly, it's really, really good. I don't get it that often. Usually I get almond butter from Costco, which is about the same price and it's like double the size. Anyway, we shouldn't have to, like, it's still an extortionate price for something like that. Let's be real. Okay, next thing I got, I get these because one, if I get them fresh, I tend to freeze them anyway because I don't eat them fast enough. And two, this is like one of my favorite snacks ever. I also make a lot of smoothies. So I find them really good to use. Um, bag of frozen raspberries, just your standard, bog standard frozen raspberries. I should probably get this back in the freezer in a second. This was on sale. It was $1 off. I got it for $6.99 for 400 grams. I don't know. That I feel like in the UK that would be a lot cheaper. No? I don't know. Okay, and finally, this is not really what you'd averagely get on a normal shop or get in an average shop. Um, but this was on sale and I am currently replanting my balcony garden as I do every year. Little strawberry plant. Very cute. This was actually not that expensive at all because uh, it was on sale too. And it was two seventy nine. I saved 70 cents and uh, hopefully... This will help me save more when the strawberries grow on it in the summertime. So anyway, all of that, those how many items? Five items from the grocery store cost $33.19. You tell me if that's worth it. I know I didn't make the cheapest choices because I'm very particular about the things I eat. And again, stuff like this is not a standard buy for me. Um, but still, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Do not judge me. I shared this with you in confidence that you won't judge me or say mean things to me. So yeah, anyway, shall we unbox, unbox, unbag, unpackage my eBay order? Okay, I've changed where I am because I feel like I have more space. I have not sold on eBay properly. Like I've sold like bits and bobs, but I find it funny how like all eBay orders now come in like eBay branded bags. This also took so long to get here. It came from the States and I think it only came from like the Pacific Northwest. I don't think it came from far and it took three weeks to get here, which is kind of crazy. I had an other, another eBay order before that and it came so much quicker. So yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So before I show you this, um, if you've seen my social media, you've been following me for a while or you've watched the vlog, we went to Hawaii last year for my birthday. It was a dream trip that I've always wanted to go to. And very specifically, I wanted to stay at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, which is the pink hotel in Waikiki. And the reason why I wanted to say that was because that hotel was what inspired me to travel. It's what, it's how the travel bug bit me because my dad went on a cruise when I was younger without me. <laughs> um, and they got delayed coming back home and so they got put up in the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and my dad took pictures of the hotel and the hotel if you don't know is like bright it's not bright pink it's like a it's like a peachy pastely pink color and I remember seeing this picture of this like beautiful pink building with like all these luscious green tropical plants around it and palm trees um, and seeing the ocean and being like that is the most beautiful place I've ever seen and just like not being able to wrap my head around the fact that my dad my dad who was like in front of me had been there and seen this um, and it was at that moment that I was like I'm gonna go travel the world and I need to go to that hotel and I finally did last year so that hotel means an awful lot to me um, and when we were there I wanted to get a couple of things to like you know remember it I got like a sleep shirt um, it's very very simple like it just has like it's just a white shirt with like Royal Hawaiian Hotel on it um, and then Mike got me a little tote bag because I collect tote bags. But they did have these like long sleeved um, tops there and they were so cool. And it had like Royal Hawaiian all on the back of it. They were like the Royal Hawaiian pink color. And I really liked them. But one I was like, am I really going to wear a bright pink top? I probably would in the house. Um, 
but they were like a hundred Canadian dollars ish maybe a little bit more because they were a spirit jersey brand if you've ever come across that brand before they're quite expensive I don't know much about them but apparently they are so anyway I was very sad that I never got one but I was scrolling on eBay and it came across I think it came across on my recommended um things that was bear just going to his brother's call and I found this and I was like oh my gosh it looks amazing and it was in a size small and so it was like I think they fit big but I'm pretty sure small will be fine um and I was so excited and this is it and it's I didn't see this one when I was there they only had the pink one um it was like a pink color like this color pink and then the writing was white um and so I kind of really loved this because it was white with the pink and I feel like white is kind of much easier to wear you know I mean I think like the Royal Hawaiian pink is like iconic but I like how the actual writing is Royal Hawaiian so I think this will just be so lovely to have around the house or like a really good like travel outfit you know like for a tra uh, plane travel or something like that I might use it for our next trip upcoming which is coming up in like two and a half weeks and I can't believe I haven't even said anything about it on social media yet um I don't think I will have said anything before this video goes out but if you are interested in knowing where we're going we're going on a very 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 exciting trip which I think a lot of you if I know you well um especially my Instagram family if I know you well you will be very excited we're gonna vlog it and it's somewhere I've wanted to go since I was like a little girl so yeah very different trip for us very different um I'm kind of nervous and excited but yeah anyway that'll be uh, in a vlog near you soon um so yeah let me try it on Okay, yeah, as expected, it's very long. Um, I have a very short torso, but I also have a small waist and then like wide hips. So I never like this length on me, um, but it's very like oversized. I might get it cropped. And I know people will be upset with me because I know that you're not supposed to do that with this spirit jersey brand, but like I'll wear it more if it's cropped. So, and that's the back of it. I really like it actually. I don't know if I'll crop it. I think this is going to be a great like lounge, lounge shirt. Very happy with that. And oh, another thing was that this was a fraction of the cost that it would have been in Hawaii. Um, I think it was like less than half of the price. I can't remember how much I paid for it on eBay. I think it was like $40. Um, so yeah, it was definitely worthwhile. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go plant my strawberry plant and that's pretty much it because mike's not here i don't have anything else to do today um tomorrow i will probably take you around victoria for a bit i think it's supposed to be sunny so i might do that on my lunch break and then we're hopefully going to be doing something fun at the weekend which just made me realize that i have to film and edit this before sunday because that's when my vlog goes up so if you're watching this and it's sunday just know that it was a very tight turnaround schedule. I am doing that to myself a lot recently. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in a bit.
Mom? I can't even tell. Oh, yeah. Yay. Pretty. More frolicking. Continue frolicking. Okay, Izzy is hiding behind a tree. We're off to see the goats. Woo. We are at Beacon Hill Park at the goat petting zoo. I think there's things other than goats, but this is adorable. So, I love how they wag their little tails like a dog. This is Punk and Petunia. So cute. Hello. This is huge. This is a lot bigger on the inside than... No. I can't look at these ones for summer. This guy here is called Arwen. Um, then there's Pi and Han Solo. I've already learned the names of the ducks. I love how he's got a little curly tail. Oh, he's just so snug in there. He looks like a sheep crossed with a cow. He's adorable. That is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. I just want to take him home with me, but he won't fit in my apartment. Oh, look at the little donkeys. You're so cute. Oh, I like these guys. They seem so unbothered. Oh, they're alpacas. Osmond, that is a fantastic name for an alpaca. I love he looks like he's got a little horse tail. I love the way they eat. They look so regal. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hi, buddy. Oh my goodness. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness. This is giving um, the 101 Dalmatians when they're little babies and they're putting on their little vest. Oh my goodness. Two weeks. Yes, I know Mama's down there, huh? So soft. Hi, Hi little one. Little baby, just two weeks. Oh my goodness. So sweet. I know, she's right there. Good job, Mama. Goats are everywhere. This one just wants to be with its friends. Hi, buddy. Hi. What's your name? Snowdrop. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Good job. Is he's in her element. Face from each other. Here we go. You guys can walk outside. Oh, it's so cute. Hey. Hello. What is that little guy? Oh, so little. oh my goodness, the cheese. Yeah. Oh, it's a good scratch. Hey. Oh, is that nice? Is that a good scratch? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one right behind the ear. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Hi. Oh, that's a good scratch. That's a good scratch. Oh, we've got the animal whisperer over here. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, you're so soft. You're so soft. It's so sweet. <laughs> Look at his little tongue. I changed my mind. I want the goat. <laughs> House goat. What are the brush for? Mm, this it tastes smells like other goats. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know who he's showing off to. There's no pea hens around. Hello. Oh, wow. They're so pretty the sun in the sun. Great. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> They're so loud. <laughs> They're so loud. Here in the wilds of Beacon Hill Park, 
we find the food that sits in the sunlight, warming up its shell, hoping to find a mate. If you listen very quietly, you can hear the small chirps of the turtle. In the background, we have Maladus oh Dictus sitting towards us. He spotted a female who might be worth his time. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> oh my goodness. More turtles. There's so many of them. They're having a real party. Hey everyone. I am just editing this vlog and I realised that I did not do an outro. Are we surprised? Not really. Um, so I'm going to do one now. Yoga mat in the background. I'm going to go to yoga later. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel. I post videos like this all the time. Sometimes they're vlogs. Sometimes they're as chaotic as this. Sometimes they're a little bit more put together. Sometimes they're sit down videos. There's a whole mix of stuff. So if you enjoyed it, check out the rest of my channel. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when I next post a video, which is every single weekend. Um, I try to do it on Sunday mornings, but like this one, sometimes it's Sunday evening. So just shake it up, whatever, you know? Until my next video, I hope you have the most wonderful week. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,